and from WP Speed Fix. In this video, we're going to talk about optimizing WordPress database and WordPress database queries. So we have this post over on our website that talks about this in more detail. And I'm going to talk you through it and add a few more bits and pieces in there as well that are not listed in the post. Most customers who come to us who have database issues have a WooCommerce site and they have slow stuff related to WooCommerce. So it's not listed in the post, but this would be the first place to start high performance order storage. So this is a new feature introduced in WooCommerce uh, 8.2 that introduces some new database tables that are much faster for WooCommerce. So WooCommerce was initially hacked into WordPress. So all the e-commerce stuff, orders, products, things like that were stored as basically pages in the WordPress database table, which is not ideal from a performance perspective. So if you have a busy site with a lot of checkouts or a lot of customers on there at the same time, adding to cart, checkout, my account, jumping, basically anything that's database heavy, then it's going to go slow. So the high performance order storage system um, or feature basically resolves that issue. So it adds new database tables that are specific for WooCommerce and moves all that data into those tables, which makes things a lot faster. So this post will link to it in the description, but basically it walks you through what it is, what it does, how to turn it on. So turn it on under the WooCommerce settings, advanced area. You can see it here. There's a screenshot that talks you through it. Basically, there's a couple of steps to make this work. So one, all your plugins have to be compatible with it. So if you have old plugins, they're probably not going to be compatible. So you'll see in here, it gives you a list of uh, plugins. Here it is. Let me find the screenshot. There is a screenshot here. Here you go. Um, incompatible extensions. So it will give you a list of plugins that are not compatible. So then you can go chase updates for those to get you know up, get up to date essentially so once you have all the plugins that are compatible then you have to synchronize the old storage system to the new one which might take depending on how many orders you have it might take a couple of hours might take a couple of days if you've got thousands of orders so once you've done that then you'll be able to turn it on and you'll get a significant speed difference so things like adding to the cart that might have taken a few seconds before will probably take half a second to one second with the new database format so it's well worth doing checkout will be faster managing products in the back end will be faster managing orders in the back end will be faster so it's basically a free performance boost and well worth doing so you can check that out over at the woocommerce site so that's not listed on the post here on our website but it's well worth doing if you have a woocommerce site and would be the first thing we recommend you do next if you scroll down here it's not first on the post but number six on the post is using InnoDB storage engines or it's basically the format of the database tables instead of the older my isam format so this really will apply if you have an older Wo uh, wordpress site so MySQL can store data in two types of formats. So one is this older MySQL format, one is the newer format, InnoDB. So InnoDB is much faster for WordPress. And the reason being is, and you can see illustrated here in these little pictures, when something is writing to a database table with that is in the MySQL format or using the MySQL storage engine, that whole table is locked during that write. So if there's a lot of things writing to the database, especially if you have a WooCommerce site or a membership site where things are writing to the database all the time, every time a user does something on the site, it's writing to the database, then this table is going to spend a lot of time locked and those database writes are going to start to queue. So you basically get a queue of database writes. That's a problem and it's going to slow things down. So the database is basically the, the users and the queries are actually going to start to wait for wait in the queue. So if there's a lot of stuff writing, that queue could be several seconds long if the database is busy. With the newer format, that isn't an issue. So only the row in the database table is locked when it's being written to. So you get very little of that queuing type behavior. It's kind of akin to emailing an Excel document around versus using a Google Sheet where multiple people can be in there at the same time. So this would be, if, if you have any database issues, if you're not on a WooCommerce site, this would be the first place to start. And there is this plugin that we typically use called Servvault Optimizer that um, will do this with essentially one click. So if you have a relatively small database, it's less than one or two gigabytes, you'll be able to use this plugin. It's free. You basically install it. It'll tell you what database tables are using the older format. You click a button and it will convert them. It might take 30 seconds or so. Before you do it, make sure the database is packed up. Things can and do go wrong from time to time. While this is a fairly safe procedure, 
if things do break so and the you know if the site is old there could be database issues so quite frankly it's, it does have some risk and you really need to back things up before you make major changes like this if you have a big database it would not be recommended to use this method big might be over two or three gigabytes the reason being things might crash or time out if you use this plugin because it will take a lot longer for those database tables to be converted so just be mindful of that if you have a bigger database you might need a developer to do this but this will give you a serious performance gain as well especially in the back end of the site when you're editing pages and posts and things like that so that'll be the next place to go or the, the next place to, to check on the next task on the to-do list from here, so we'll link you up to this post on our website. From here, there's a few things we'd recommend you do. So having good hosting, this kind of goes without saying, but again and again, we see people with $2 a month, $5 a month hosting and expect it to go fast. It's just not going to happen. You get what you pay for when it comes to hosting. And the cost difference between good hosting and bad hosting is essentially the, the cost of a cup of coffee versus the cost of a nice lunch. So it doesn't make sense that you would expect something that's five bucks a month to go fast so just be mindful of that you really need to be on good hosting these are the hosts we typically recommend especially for database stuff cloudways would be our pick here if you go to seaways.net you get the cloudways website and it's actually pretty cheap for what you get the prices start at 10 bucks a month but you know you can get a, a solid server for 20 or 30 dollars a month there that you know would run a mid-size woocommerce site if it's well optimized the reason why we recommend these hosts for database issues is because they have object caching capability so object caching is a type of database caching so there's two things you need to run object caching one is you need the application the piece of software that will support the object cache so that's redis or memcached and all three of these hosts have one of those. So Cloudways and Kinsta have Redis built in. SiteGround has memcached. So you need that capability on the hosting and then you need the object caching plugin. If you're using Cloudways, um, I think on anything higher than a $20 a month plan, it has the pro version of this plugin available and it has like a one click install. So that'd be what we recommend you do if you care about performance. Cloudways is a bit more technical to use though. So keep that in mind. Um, but you do get the performance, the power of a dedicated server um, and it's fairly cheap. In terms of price for performance, it's, it's still dirt cheap. So that's object caching. That will help you, particularly WooCommerce sites, membership sites. Object caching is important for anything database heavy. Okay, next one. Use the highest version of PHP your site supports. So this is very simple. Higher versions of PHP are faster than the previous one. So this doesn't necessarily affect the database directly, but it affects processing in relation to database stuff. So if PHP is slow, your database queries are going to be slow. So updating to the highest version of php your site support will supports will make a difference so that's a fairly easy one to do and there are plugins that can check for compatibility for php versions or you could just manually check plugins and themes to make sure they support it these next two are all about reducing load and moving workload off the hosting so you're probably familiar with page caching if you're not then basically you need to have page caching to make wordpress go fast so what a cache does or page cache is that the pages are pre-built in advance before the visitor gets to the website the page is already built all the database lookups are done the php processing is done and the page is ready to go so that's what a page cache is and the two plugins we recommend here are wp rocket or flying press some hosts have page caching built in you'll still get a performance benefit using one of these plugins because it will manage the cache better so they're well worth checking out so we want page caching in place they can also, so by default, logged in users are not cached, but these plugins can cache those sessions for logged in users as well. So for membership sites and WooCommerce sites, that will help a lot. So it's well worth doing. The next one is all about moving the workload off the hosting, freeing it up. So we recommend using Cloudflare for Content Delivery Network to do this. So a Content Delivery Network will speed up the site in a few different ways, particularly Cloudflare. Cloudflare is the fastest DNS host in the world, so it will speed up DNS lookup so before someone even gets to the site. It has security and firewall built in so we can block garbage traffic so there is an article here on our site that talks about some of the cloudflare rules we use um, we use some rules here to block brute force attacks on wordpress and to block crawlers and scrapers hitting word fence, so uh, wordpress so there are some step-by-step -step guides there um, 
if you have a site that's ranking fairly well, it will attract a lot of garbage traffic. So we can use Cloudflare to filter that even on the free Cloudflare plan. So that's worth doing. And then the $5 a month Cloudflare APO service will move even more of the workload off the site onto Cloudflare. So what APO does, basically does page caching at the Cloudflare level. So it moves a significant portion of the workload off the hosting and freeing it up to do whatever it needs to do. So by moving the workload around, then we have more resources for database stuff and database lookups. So that's well worth doing. And especially adding those firewall rules in the Cloudflare will filter a lot of junk and garbage, um, especially brute force attacks, which can be very heavy on the database. Database tables, we talked about this already, so in ADB. Some simple ones here that kind of go without saying, but they're you know still important ones to mention nonetheless. So disable any plugins you're not using. If you delete a plugin, it will usually delete the database tables that go with it. So if you have an old plugin that you're not using, deleting it will clean up some of that crap, and you know that's worth doing as well. Deleting expired transients. So this is not really a problem we see much anymore, but if you have an older site, you may have this issue. So transients are temporary data about user sessions that are stored in the database. So sometimes we'll see sites that have 2 million transients stored in the database and it makes the database table slow. So going through and deleting those transients will speed up the database table. There's a lot of plugins that support this. So WP Rocket supports deleting expired transients. So does this plugin WP Optimize. It's pretty simple. You basically only click a button and it deletes those expired transients. If you have a newer site, you probably don't have this issue because transients are, ma are managed very well on newer versions of WordPress and WooCommerce. If you want to diagnose, if you still got issues with database performance, using this free plugin called Query Monitor will help diagnose problems and database hogs. So you install this plugin and it will give you the query time, the SQL, the database query time for each page. So you can go in the back end or go on the front end and it will give you an output of how long the PHP processing took and how much the database or how many database queries there were and how long they took. So using that data, the plugin will tell you what is generating those queries and you can kind of work backwards and determine which plugins are the root cause of the problem there. So sometimes um, it might be old plugins that are not compatible anymore. Um, there might be an update for those plugins, but basically install the plugin, find the plugin that install query monitor, find the plugin or theme that's causing the problem or part of the theme, and then talk to their support about how to get a fix for that. Um, and, and kind of along the similar line, updating all the plugins to the latest version. We see a lot of sites that have paid plugins from ThemeForest, for example, and those plugins sit outside the WordPress update ecosystem. So they haven't been updated sometimes in years. And they're talking to all parts of the database that don't work, or they're just using slow old queries, or they might have PHP issues or errors. So updating all the plugins, doing a manual audit on that can be useful as well. Um, looking at server logs can also identify issues that are happening under the bonnet that aren't immediately obvious. So there will be things like crawlers and scrapers, brute force attacks that are hammering the site all the time that just don't show up ordinarily. But if you look into the log, you'll see a lot of stuff in there. So we'd recommend going through the server log and cleaning anything up, blocking it using the robots.txt file. So often Google and other crawlers will be hammering query strings. We see this on WooCommerce sites where SEO crawlers are adding and removing things to the cart very rapidly within a few seconds. That can absolutely hammer the database. Um, what else? Uh, brute force attacks is another simple one. And again, using Cloudflare and these rules here that we talked about as a way to kind of remove that workload or, or kind of filter that garbage. WordFence is also another tool we use. The free version of the WordFence plugin is another layer of security we use. And this is, WordFence is very good at picking up WordPress specific stuff and things that are just acting maliciously with WordPress and it will block them as well. So again, it's about removing workload or block stopping workload. So we have more resources to use for, you know, stuff that we need to do for database queries. So that's it for this video, keeping it nice and short. Um, if you need more speed help, if you want us to help you with this site, go to our website, wpspeedfix.com, request a free speed audit here from the menu. One of our team can have a look at your website and give you some recommendations on how we can help. If you want to troubleshoot further, our free Core Web Vitals report, there's no opt-in required. Stick in your web address here and it will generate a pretty report with your overall site performance. And this report updates on the second Tuesday of each month automatically. Um, so that's a good one as well. And then our WordPress speed test tool, it's also free. It takes about 90 seconds and will give you detailed recommendations on how to optimize your site. 
Um, we also have our vital science tracking software. So this is our application, our custom built tool that will track the Core Vitals data at a very granular level. So it will help you dig up issues like slow cart, slow checkout on WooCommerce membership sites. It'll be able to tell you the speed of logged in users versus logged out users and basically troubleshoot weird and wonderful speed issues that you're having with your site. So that's worth checking out as well. Very cost effective. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, post in the comments below. Happy to come back to you and elaborate. We'll have links to everything in the description too. Cheers.